It's not just mine, his or her house. This is our house. Hello, everyone. My name is Tyrone Lowe. This is my show called The Legends, and I have my guest today, Gail Campbell. How you doing, Gail? Welcome to The Legends. Hey, Tyrone. Thank you so much for having me. So let's talk about Gail Campbell. I've listened to your music, and very extraordinary. You know, um, Janet Joplin was one of my biggest, I was a big fan of hers, you know, and you collaborate and you integrate into a lot of, a lot of uh, singers, you know, and um, so let's talk about, let's talk about you per se. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, Newark, East Orange, Irvington, you know, that little Essex County area. Right. So let's talk about how you got started with your craft. Now, before we get into that, you know, I had read some details about some hardship that you was going through, you know, at least one time, you know. So let's talk about that. Um, yeah, I don't know if my story is unique to um, most, you know, kids who grew up in Newark during, you know, the 90s, the crack era. You know, my family fell victim to that. Um, right. Kind of called caused me to retreat into my mind a lot, you know, as a survival mechanism. So right. it kind of fostered my creativity. The lack mm-hmm. fostered my creativity. Not having the things I wanted caused me to, you know, just become creative. And um, my creativity kind of manifested itself in a lot of different ways. And music is just one of them. Okay. So, um when you got into the craft of music, did it actually sort of like, uh, how they say, just took over your emotions to the point where you just, it just took you away and made you forget about everything in a sense? Um, and, and sometimes, you know, so I never know how, um, what's going to happen when I, when I start to, uh, create music or write songs or sing, um, Sometimes things come out that I didn't even know was there, you right. know. Um, so if I can have like some, you know, unrecognized anger or some unrecognized hurt that kind of come comes out during uh, uh, singing or my writing, and it's you know, it's sometimes it's surprising to me. Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, it is therapeutic. It yeah. does allow me to be able to get it. Well, out. we all go through emotions. I call it a sedative. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's my theory, you know, so um, your music is very unique because you go through a lot of gyres from like rock, hip hop. I've heard a lot of your stuff. Fantastic. You Thank know, you. and, you know, for a person, especially a person of color, you don't really find a lot of, you know, go into a lot of music like that. And you, you just go through everything. And it's yeah. fantastic. Your voice range is like fantastic i'm like wow you. you know you know Thank so you. let's talk about you know let's talk about some of the songs that you did some fairy tales let's talk about how you actually got into that oh fairy tales was um well the the producer of the whole album is stanley right. um when it played the beat for me I just knew that it was a fairy tale story. And um, when I I sat down to actually start to write the song, I kind of felt, at that time, during the whole making of the album, I was in a really emotionally uh, broken place. So Mm -hmm. when I started to write the song and I just heard fairy tales, I just heard fairy tales in my spirit. And it just felt like, you know, um, my fairy tale had been destroyed. 
You know, I've always okay. been a, a young girl who always kind of, you know, um, saw the good and hoped for the good and kind of saw things through rose-colored glasses. Mm -hmm. And I realized when I was writing fairy tales that I didn't see the world in that way anymore. Okay. And um, it just came out. It just came out like that. Okay. It was hard. Probably the hardest song I've ever written or, or had. Really? Yeah. Okay. Don't Know Love. Let's talk about that. Don't Know Love. Of second song um, that I wrote off the album. Um, just, a, again, thinking of that relationship, um, thinking of that hardship, and just kind of um, expressing that um that uh what i what i wanted to offer and who i am it wasn't un he couldn't understand it so okay. um you know he don't know love don't know love i hear you, I hear you. <laughs> so listen uh, let's talk about um some of the producers that you actually work with on the album the um the only producer i worked with on that album was stanley it is Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of went into working when I met him and I mm -hmm. saw that he um, had the kind of music that I was looking for. Um, you know, when I told him that I'm really a rocker and, right. I, you know, and he started to play those things, I, I didn't expect him to actually have that kind of stuff in the catalog. Right. But when he did, I was so happy about it. We decided to do an EP. Right. But once we did the five songs, we realized that we weren't done and we had to continue. So um, the chemistry between me and Ipkiss was so powerful um, in terms of music that I didn't want to interfere with that. I just wanted to keep going with that. Right. So I only worked with one producer on that album because you the know. chemistry was right, you know? And the album is called Bloody Waters. It is. You know, um, actually, uh, it was actually uh, the the magazine um, hip hop album. It was actually a hip hop album of the year. It was the you heritage. Know, and that's fantastic. Album of the year. Yes, yes. That's fantastic. Let's talk about that. How did you feel when you actually laid down your production and it was actually, you know, album of the year? You know what? When I went, when I saw that I was nominated, mm -hmm. I was so elated, mm -hmm. and um, oh, it was some really great albums that right. were nominated as well. Yeah. And um, I was just honored to be amongst those great artists. But when that album got album of the year from Heritage mm -hmm. Hip Hop. I cried, Tyrone. I cried because uh -huh. you know it was so hard for me to write the album, and I didn't. I didn't feel comfortable about putting some of the subject matter in the album. I, it made me feel very vulnerable, and I mm -hmm. talked to God on several occasions and said, "I don't want to write this. I don't want to sing this," but I felt compelled to do it. So okay. when it was received the way that it was, and it got that heritage hip hop album of the year. Right. I kind of felt like I know now why I had to do it because okay. obviously so many people, it resonated with so many people, you know? So it made me feel validated, actually. Uh, okay. What artist actually influences you? Oh, Aretha Franklin. Now, I'm going to say one thing, though, because you got a Tina Turner thing going on, too. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, I, I, I'm just betting that at least she should be at least one of them. Yeah, yeah. And I get compared to her a lot and I love her. I yeah. love Tina Turner. I love I love those singers that have that unique voice because um my voice is different. So I grew up kind of always doubting my voice because it was different, questioning if I really could sing because my voice was different. But artists like Tina Turner and Janis Joplin and um Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf and Aretha Franklin Mahalia Jackson, right? Um, Mary J. Blige, Faith okay. Evans, right? Yeah, those are some of um, Monique B um, Bingham. Yeah, those are some of the the singers that I absolutely love. And you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing all of that. Yeah, in one, you know, 
um, very unique, very unique. You know, I'm a rock head. I'm a house head, but I love yes. rock. You yes. know, I love rock. I love blues as well, you know. And then when I listen to these two songs that actually that I, that, that I summed up, man, I was like, wow. You know, I was like really blown away, you know. Thanks. So much, you know. I um, want to do a house song. You know, I I've been asked, you know, girl, when are you gonna do a house song? And I'm like, yo, I'm ready. I'm about to go and do a house. I said, you know what? I'll I'll have to I get my Jersey card revoked if I don't do a house. <laughs> <laughs> you can't live in Jersey and be a Sega. And right. Do a house. <laughs> well, listen, you know, um, I don't know. Well, I'm a shout out to Paula Brian. You know. Yes. Um, I did two remixes on her songs and, nice. um, you know, and uh, she just loves it. Matter of fact, we did a show last night together on her show, The Testimony. I co-host nice. with her last night. We did um, Tony Hyman from The Drifters. Very oh, good wow. show. Wow. You know, I yeah. love her. I love her. Ever since we met, we've been like kindred spirit. You know, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a little break and we're going to have a little commercial. Then we're going to come right back. Okay. okay. Hey. Okay. It's not just mine, his or her house. This is our house. My assignment, my calling is to inspire, uplift. You have to make sure your people are partying. All I want to do is just bring joy to the dance floor and watch people dance. My name is Tyrone Lowe, and I am interviewing Gail Campbell. Hey, Gail. Hey, Tyrone. I want to ask you, you know, um, for the upcoming artists that's coming out, you know, um, what can you actually suggest for them? Um, some, one that I think probably the most valuable a bit of advice I can offer would be you know, stay true to yourself in this business. What I've learned is that um, people like formulas. People like to follow what has worked in the past. And they're kind of afraid to venture away from those different blueprints. Right. Um, that's always been a problem for me because, you know, what I wanted to do and who I am has kind of been different and, you know, not been done before. But um, when I got away from that speaking and blocked my ears to what people were telling me I had to be, and I mm -hmm. just decided to be true to myself, um, I found, I was pleasantly surprised. I found that um, there are more people than people realize that are like you and want to hear what you have to say. Right. And um, so I would say to the new artists coming up, be true to yourself. It, it, sometimes, you know, it takes a lot of bravery to step out and be who you are. But um, you have to. And go ahead and do what 
you know, what's okay. in your heart. To so do. are you working on any new material now? Uh, another album or single? Yeah. Yeah. Me and Ep right now are in the studio. We have three songs that are not done, but we've started three songs and um, we're feeling really, really good about those okay. three songs. And we've been getting good reviews on those three songs. And even though they're not mastered, they're not mixed, right. like we're going to record it and everything again. But we like what's happening. We oh, like what's happening in the studio. I'm so what do you so think? I don't know, you know. When do you think that they're actually going to be finished? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we, we kind of just go with the flow. You're taking your time. We, That's great. We just That's go great. with the flow. And You're marinating just, it. Yeah. When we start getting some songs done, then we'll start, we'll put a deadline on it so that we can get it done. But for now, we're just kind of going with the flow and going with the inspiration. And hopefully, you know, <laughs> we'll have something soon. That's great. You know, um, so before the corona, were you actually supposed to be touring or, you know, things of, like that? So let's talk about that. Let's talk yeah. about what you were supposed to be doing before this pandemic yeah. actually came. Right before the pandemic hit, I had um, was kind of starting a mini tour. Uh, um I had two months worth of worth of dates okay. um, that were booked and actually three months and just was feeling good about it. Um, one in Atlanta, um, one in Philly, the rest in the New York metropolitan area. And we that was kind of going to be my test run. And we were, you know, working on getting a band together and okay. starting to just venture out and hit and you know introduce myself to the eastern seaboard at least okay but um when the corona virus pandemic hit you know I had to cancel everything and i was feeling bad about it but i realized i'm not the only one in this boat we're right. all in it we're all in it <laughs> look at me i'm i'm i'm, we're I'm, all in I'm it. recording from home you know um <laughs> i miss right, the tv right. studio but, 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 but you know what Thank God that we found ways to continue. Exactly, yeah. You know, so I mean, technology you're, is you're a beast. You're recording from home. I'm right. on the Legend Show from home. So yeah, we, you know, we're keeping the moving. The technology is a beast, though. I love it. You know, so yes, yes. Gail, you know, um, where would you want to be five years from now, as far as with your craft? Um, I want to be international. Okay. <laughs> I want to be an international recording artist. Um, uh, um, I expect to have made my name in this business um, for the world to know who I am and what I do. That's my goal. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not modifying that. I'm not copying any please, Tyrone. I hear that. Like that's what I want to do. I, I, I want the world, Tyrone. I want the world. Hey, <laughs> I love your I love your way of thinking and uh, painting that big picture. You know. Yes. Um, it's been a pleasure. I mean, a real pleasure to have you on my show. And um, come again. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's such you know. an honor to be on your show. You know, and, uh, go ahead. I've been really excited about it ever since you and I talked about it. Right. And we're here. Thank you so much. Okay. And with this, my viewers, we thank you all guys for tuning in. And this is Gail Campbell. Support this lady. I mean, really support her. You know, give her, give her the best ear. You know, uh, she's a little different, but it's okay. Different is good. Because change isn't hard. It's just something a little bit different, you know, as far as music's concerned. But um, I believe that you're going to do it exceptionally well. I really Thank do, you, so you know. Much. And, um, you know, and with this, I'm saying to you, God bless you. Thank you. Okay. And um, everyone for tuning in. I thank you guys for actually tuning into my show, The Legends. And um, we're about to t um, get out of here. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Bye, Gail.
Give it up, Gail Cannon. Time, 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 time. 